Welcome back to a new video. So I was recently asked, I believe in my last video, to talk about the four week progression and kind of get into the uh, specifics with it. And so I went through and I made this uh, Google Sheet. There's no formulas or anything. It's more so just a visual representation of what I wrote down. Since I always prefer to write out a program physically on paper, which is obviously not the best to share uh, or to make a video about if it's just written on paper. But this is close to what I have written on the paper. There's gonna be differences with numbers and as things go on, then things will change. And I'll try to cover some of the nuances of these different days. But I'll go, to, go through each day. Um, so I just posted the day seven. So if you look at my last uh, seven videos, you'll see the, the progression of the week, how it acted out. And obviously, you know, stuff in life gets in the way. So that's one thing that's like prevents a perfect progression from happening. But here is the idea of what um, I've had and what I've tried to do as the week has moved on. The so day one is a, well, I guess in, in general terms, I'll go through the days in general, then get into the, the nitty gritty of each day. So each day either has a weightlifting focus day or a strength focus day, and it alternates for days one through four. And then days five and six are both weightlifting focus days with an additional front squat there. And then day seven, is the day that will change probably the most but right now it's straight focus days so there's a little bit of a combination on like day six but the rest of the days have a pretty much an either strength focus or uh, weightlifting focus kind of the classics or the strength that will hopefully build the classics and so the beginning of the week or the first day of the week which i actually started like on a wednesday uh, but it doesn't really matter what day you start day one especially if you don't have a specific date that you need to peak for me, I'm just kind of using this as now my shoulder's feeling good, so now I can get back into doing volume, and this is kind of how I'm uh, attacking that. So the first day starts with an easier complex in the sense that the intensity is not going to be going to extreme maximums, especially off the bat, but really just in general. That's why I like the no foot snatch is good for that. One, it's a good movement for you know technical development and practice, but it's not one where I'm going to be trying 100% of my snatch particularly with doubles and particularly at the beginning of this program. So it's a good kind of start to the, the week. Same thing with power clean plus overhead press. Power cleans, you of course, can get pretty heavy on, but the overhead pressing is going to be pretty limited. Now with the progression of these weights, going from 80 to 90 to 100 to 110, that's pretty aggressive with these movements. And it's not so much that I 100% will add 10 kilos every week. This is the plan, but just kind of the idea of starting with five sets of two at this 80 and then lowering it to four sets of two at 90 with the idea that I'm going to do a double at 80 and then do four sets of two at 90. So the repetitions itself aren't really going down, but as the weight goes up, you can assume that I'm going to do a double at 80, a double at 90 and three doubles at 100 in week three and then week four, you know, you're doing all the previous ones and then the top sets there. So each week builds upon, but it's not as if the volume necessarily is getting that much lower. It's just that with the intensity going up, I'm not going to do, you know, five doubles at 110. I'm going to do, you know, doubles building up to that and then hopefully a two by two there. Now, 110's certainly aggressive. I think I've done a no foot double with 110, but it's like one of those things. It's like, that's kind of the end of a four week thing. If everything's going well, maybe I'll be able to do that. Same kind of thing with like the overhead pressing, like doing 95 kilos for, uh, three reps on an overhead press would be a PR. So I'm not necessarily assuming that I'm going to be able to do that, but just the kind of, yeah, kind of the general idea of starting with the, in the upper body case of a three by three, three by three, two by three, and then a one by three doing the sets prior to that upper body stuff. Um, I don't want to do as many straight sets uh, just because you can kind of get the stimulus with a little bit less and a lot of like the additional accessory work of doing arms and whatnot will kind of build upon the overhead stuff as well. So I'm not worried about doing, you know, sets of 10 necessarily over press if I'm going to be doing bicep extensions and bicep curl and shoulder stuff in addition to that to get additional volume in. Uh, with day two, with it being a strength focus, the snatch push press is the, the main accessory for the snatch that I want to use. Right now, I don't want to do overhead squats or snatch balances just to allow my shoulder to get feeling, allow my shoulder to be feeling 100% for the days where I'm going to be doing snatches and clean and jerks, now I would say I'm at 90 plus percent as far as my shoulder feeling good based on the numbers I'm doing, the confidence that I have with them, and just the 
general comfortability of the, the shoulder joint right now, but I don't want to aggravate it by doing overhead squats and snatch balances in addition to all the other, you know, snatch work during the week. Um, but that is something that could change to where this could be a snatch push press plus overhead squat or a snatch balance, some sort of um, sna snatch strength uh, accessory movement. But I've been really liking the push presses. It's a really like mentally easy movement. So I might just keep it there at least for the foreseeable future uh, for these, you know, four week repeating blocks. So, you know, five by three is just progressing up pretty simple linear progression. A lot of the gains that I'm going to get with the snatch push press is going to just be neurological and just technique since I'll just, I haven't done a ton of volume in this movement for a while. So just getting the practice at it, it will jump up pretty quick. And I'm going to guess like the 120 to 130 based on, you know, my past will be kind of where I start to slow down and have to do more volume in those areas. So hopefully when I repeat this four week cycle, instead of starting at 100, you know, I'll be able to start somewhere between 120, 130. And that's something that's generally true of any of these days is once the, the week repeats or once I get to, I guess, week five, which would be back to week one, I'm not necessarily going to start all of the days back at the, the first level at say 90 for this block snatch on the next day. I might be able to start it at 100 and progress from there and maybe take smaller jumps. So instead of going 100 to 105 or 110, go to 105 instead, some sort of progression like that. The general goal, obviously, to get stronger, to get more volume with those heavier weights, and to just build everything up as much as I can. So the block snatch is similar, five doubles, four doubles, three doubles, two doubles, as you know, doing the sets there. Instead of going from 110 to 120, just to 115, since the percentages are getting higher at that point. And then block power cleans plus push press, very similar to that first day. It's a movement that's going to be limiting me based on the variation that I chose to so the block power clean. It's a really difficult movement for me to do, so I'm not going to be trying to do 140 block power cleans because I just physically can't. They would just be full. But getting better at those, I think, will just be a generally good thing for the technique, and it'll just be a challenging thing on that day. And then the push press is obviously easier than overhead press, so I'm going to be able to go above what I would be just strict pressing, of course. Day four is very similar to day two with the difference of being in front squats. And instead of being uh, five sets of five, and I guess I should cover the squats there because there's not specific numbers and there is a reason for that. But the front squats will have five sets of three on all of the days and snatch pulls five sets of three. So for the pulling exercises, I'm not necessarily doing five sets at a certain weight, just kind of five sets in general as I'm building up and is trying to, to work to a generally heavier weight. And that's kind of true for the clean pull slash deadlift as well as snatch pulls, just trying to move those weights up, but not necessarily going to say for like a snatch pull to do all five sets at 120. I would do, you know, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. And like all of the sets building up would count towards the volume because I'm not worried about getting a ton of pulling volume in at, at heavier weights since that's already just a natural strength of mine. Now for squatting, um, a lot of it's based on what I'm able to do on a particular day. So the goal with the five sets of five is not to, again, do straight sets at a certain weight, but is to do the repetitions kind of in the Pat Mende style where you're doing them continually and you're not doing breaks in between. So you're trying to do fast, in this case, sets of five in the front squats, you know, triples, and trying to do them connected and quickly uh, and trying to be, you know, obviously, just move them fast and explosively, which is true, you know, any movement you're doing, but really trying to not just build the strength, but trying to build the ability to produce the force in a shorter amount of time as well. Um, so just doing connected reps, I guess is a good way to describe it, but trying to build up to a top set and then doing either drop sets or waving around the different sets for a total of five sets of five. So for instance, on a back squat, if I was able to get up to say 190 for a set of five, I'm not going to continue to build up from there. If that set felt difficult, I'm going to drop back down to 160 and then maybe push up to 65, 170 and, and build up from there. But the goal is to get five total sets of five and it could be at a variety of weights. And then when I look at it the next week, trying to push the amount of intensity I did up. So maybe a heavier top set and then heavier drop sets, some sort of combination of that and the same kind of uh, progression with front squats. So you're trying to progress up the triple to the heaviest triple that you could do, but then you want to accumulate the volume with the drop sets. So that's kind of the methodology with the back squats and the front squats right now is accumulate volume, but also try to push the intensity, but within that rep scheme. So I'm not just maxing out oh, every time that I have a front squat or back squat for a set of five. Like I want it to be a connected and quick and not necessarily easy, but like a manageable set of five and one where I can do the other sets below there. This past week, I haven't done a little bit as much uh, 
because of the fact of just getting ready for a wedding that I just went to yesterday. So, you know, that's life stuff's going to get in the way. So this isn't like the perfect plan that I'm going to be able to stick to a hundred percent. Life stuff is going to get in the way. I got interviews to do this week and life stuff to figure out as far as, you know, what I'm going to do is, or where I'm going to work next year, as far as a job, you know, weddings, just life stuff gets in the way. So obviously, you know, this is the theoretical plan, but obviously things will change. And as long as the general plan is being followed, so I'm, you know, doing the lighter weights and progressing to heavier and heavier weights and still getting in some volume, that's obviously going to be good. But then when the four week repeats, then you look at what you were able to do in that previous four weeks and try to improve upon it, whether it be, you know, higher, higher intensity sets or more volume in general. Um, you're just trying to build upon what you did the previous four weeks. So it's not necessarily four weeks and I'm peaked for a max lift at the end of the four weeks. It's that's where the heaviest lifts are going to be done, but then it's just going to cycle back. So it's just uh, every four weeks, it kind of just refreshes. So then you can assess where you are and then repeat what you need or to change what you need. So um, when the four weeks repeats, like I mentioned with the snatch push presses, that could turn into an overhead squat or a snatch balance or something. I could add different accessory movements in. I randomly put biceps curls on the, the first day, but really that will bicep curls itself are just going to be kind of sprinkled in where it makes sense in the week or where I feel like adding them in. And the the goal with that, and if I'm doing like pressing on this day, this could be bench pressing or tricep extensions and stuff like that. A lot of the accessory work, I just kind of add into different days because I have the general idea of, of the, the big stuff I want to get done. And then I want to make sure that, you know, two, three, maybe even four times a week, like I'm adding in additional, you know, bodybuilding accessory work do whatever I'm doing to make sure that I'm working on those small muscles that might not get as much targeting or just to get additional volume in, in those areas, particularly with the upper body. I don't do any sort of lower body accessories right now. The main, only thing I guess you could consider for that would be jump roping. Um, I did that probably three, three times last week, if I'm trying to remember correctly. And um, I kind of laid off that a little bit because I started to get a bit of a cold and um, doing cardio when you have a cold is not very fun. So I want to uh, you know, not have a bunch of snot in my face <laughs> to do that. But ideally, I would be jump roping probably every session because it just kind of is fun to do and it's good cardio and just good to do a little bit of cardio in general. But uh, in this day seven, as you see, there's not weights that are prescribed even. Very similar with back squats. Like I'm trying to work up differently in the sense of like the how I mentioned the back squats where I'm trying to like get to a top set but then do volume there here I'm just trying to and I guess these should be sets of five so I'll just change that here while I'm talking and the goal of these you know one set of five is to build up to hopefully a heavy set of five hasn't really gone that well so far I've been really wanting to do multiple reps of 200 and it just has been moving too slow but you're still getting a practice with a heavy weight and it gives you something to work uh, work towards in the future weeks. So when you're doing the volume, you know like what you're trying to build towards as far as a squat goes. And I'm not necessarily trying to get up to, you know, one rep max. This past week, because I just had, uh, I just wanted to do a quick session. I ended up just working up to a single on the back squat and then a heavy triple or at least a heavy triple attempt on the snatch push press. And then actually did some bench pressing um, some seated pressing and some tricep stuff. So this day seven will certainly fluctuate with what I want to do. And a lot of it's based on, you know, how this day five and six go with how fatigued I am from those. Because as we get to, you know, week three and four, if these become more heavier, intense days, I may not have as much energy on this day seven to go absolutely crazier with heavier weights. But in general, this is a four week progression. So like, I'm um, sorry, I don't know what even button I hit. As you know, I get to this week, Five, or I guess it would be week one. We'd come back to here, but that's really, it's like, all right, four weeks, assess where we're at. Can I start at 90? Can I even start at 100? Like, or do I really just need to, you know, start at 80 and then build up and maybe, you know, have a different progression for each individual day? But the repeatability is going to be important. And days like, you know, this block snatch day, stuff like that could change depending on what I want to do. Because obviously, with myself not being good at block power cleans, or just, you know, the push press numbers in general. Like once you get up to a certain number, like I'm not going to be probably doing three three sets of three on a day like this as far as like 
Um, well, I guess this is actually a good point to bring up too. I'm not doing three block power cleans and three push presses. The times three is based on just the push presses because that's the movement that is more important to me on that day. And so for like a variation like that, that's same with the uh, power clean plus overhead press. It's just the overhead press that's the additional repetitions. I'm not worried about cleans and really building the strength in those since it's not really going to be the limiting factor. And if anything, it's going to limit the push press a lot, which is going to be, or it's just the main focus because I'm just weaker overhead in general. And that's what I want to improve the strength of. And a lot of the clean strength you'll get improved by doing back squats and front squats and whatnot. But once I repeat this four weeks, because like this is a pretty easy progression for the first four weeks, but maybe I want to do more sets at 110. I can kind of start around there, but eventually it will kind of plateau in a sense, and I'll have to be more creative with the progressions, and it's not just going to be increasing each week. I mentioned kind of like the snatch push presses. Like once I get to like 130 for these sets of three, like it's going to be difficult to progress by there. But because I haven't, since my competition, really been able to do a lot of volume in the classics particularly, I have... Um, I want to be able to build that tolerance up to do repetitions. And so that's going to be where a lot of the progression will initially come, but then it will build to the point where it's like, all right, I'm kind of getting plateaued and then I can make changes to the variations that I choose. Right now it's a really simple progression and it's just every four weeks because that's where I'm at and then repeat it. So um, I hope that, and I forget uh, what your name is that commented that, but I do uh, appreciate you leaving that comment. And hopefully this gives a decent explanation and a good little visual representation of my program. It's like I said, there's no formulas or anything. So like I could share it, but there's not like, I just typed all the information in. So it's not as if I'm working off percentages. I'm working off the numbers that I think I can do that are manageable to more difficult. Um, as far as a percentage ago, an example of where the days will lead me, if for like this block snatch, if you're basing it off what I do off the floor, this would be, I believe, around like 75, 80%, 90 kilos if um, I'm assuming 130 uh, kilograms as my max. And then uh, 115 would be at about 90%. And so that's true for most lifts other than like this push press. Some lifts you can be kind of more aggressive with just because of the nature of the lifts. Like push presses, my best is 132 or 133. And so 125 is a pretty high percentage of that. And... Um, like clean and jerks, like, you know, 150, that's going to be a pretty high percentage of a one rep max as well. And so basically, you know, it's going from 75, 80% to 90 plus percent. And then it kind of moves back down with the goal of hopefully being able to continue to get stronger, particularly in a lot of these strength movements, and then just to be able to kind of generally build everything up. But uh, just to be open as well after the four weeks to change things and see how it is and not just, you know, bang my head against the wall trying to do the same thing over and over and over. But just kind of give that four, because I always find like after four weeks, you kind of know the progression that you're going or the trajectory and it's a good time to kind of roll it back to the beginning and then just continue those gains because you can only get so much stronger so quickly until things start getting plateaued and becomes difficult and then you become less recovered and then you just your body kind of just naturally crashes the volume down for you if you don't uh make take actions to be proactive in that regard but anywho that hopefully answers your question about the the four week programming that i got and for anyone that's was kind of following the last week videos you kind of see my logic or at least thoughts behind the programming and some of the, I guess, kind of some of the numbers, you know, I'll, I'll, obviously a lot of these will change and some things might progress faster or slower. And then obviously, you know, you kind of have to see the videos of me doing squats and stuff to see what numbers I'm actually able to push up to. It's a lot that's based on that particular day and then based on previous sessions and how everything's moving with that. But that's going to be it for this one. So I know this is a bit longer, but I wanted to kind of dive into the explanation since that, I thought that was a really good question. And I think I talked about it a little bit, uh, but not in you know, one extended fashion with that. But that's going to be it for this one. If you made it this far, I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.